Hi, welcome everyone to this week's Source Snack Break. It's Wednesday, July 21st. It also happens to be National Junk Food Day, so it aligned perfectly with the, with the snack break. Um, so if you guys have a favorite junk food or thing you're snacking on, you can throw it into the chat. So um, you've been muted automatically. But as you're joining on the right hand side of your screen, you'll see that um, chat box there. And that will be um, available for you to use to say hello, ask questions along the way. Let us know what you like. Um, so please definitely feel free to use the, the chat box there and we'll be keeping an eye on that as we go through the presentation for any questions. And then we'll also save a couple minutes at the end if there's any that we weren't able to answer along the way. So I'm Brittany McLean. I'm the Director of Membership at Source and I'm joined by Charles today from Talk Carpet. Welcome. So good to have you. Hi, thank you so much, guys, for um, joining in. It's my first time in using this technology, so please bear with me. Um, but yeah, so uh, my name is Charles, and I'm just going to pull up my, um, I'm just going to share some materials that awesome. you can um, look at. Um, so I work for Talk Carpet, and we are a distributor for um, Edge Carpets, where, which is a Danish carpet manufacturer. So we are the exclusive um, distributor for the Oregon State, Washington, New York, Southern California, and Illinois. But if you're not in any of these places, don't worry. This is just a brief introduction of the brand that will help you um, the best way possible and get you in contact with the right people. Um, but thanks again. And um, so I just wanted to start off um, by showing you a quick video about the brand. Um, it's only like one minute. So Brittany, I think we have to turn off our camera, right? Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off just so we get a little bit better streaming quality. I'm just gonna share my screen. Perfect. Let you know once I see it. All right, I see your screen there. Okay, perfect. Great, awesome. Love it. Thanks. I'm just going to stop sharing my screen. No problem. And I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> so ho hopefully everybody um, got to see that properly. Um, it was lagging a little bit earlier today, but hopefully it was OK for you. Um, so just a little bit about um, Edge Carpet. So we um, were founded in 1938 in a little town called Herning in Denmark. Um, and so all the boring stuff, I'll just get through so that I could show you some, some <laughs> images because I think that's what we want anyway. Um, so everything you'll see today is uh, made for heavy duty, high traffic commercial use with a 15 year wear warranty. Um, and our green story is obviously, as you saw, um, is very important to us. So we are the only carpet manufacturer in the world um, that where all our products have their cradle to cradle certification. Um, we ha also have our green label plus all our health product declarations, our environmental product declarations, and of course, your um, typical LEED V4 certifications as well. Um, and I have another one last video, last one, I promise. Um, <laughs> That's amazing, all those that, the focus on sustainability that you guys have. I love that. And I know a lot of our designers who are joining do as well. So that's Yes, awesome. um, and also 
the um i don't know if you saw in the video there's a bison <laughs> <laughs> so like the bison is because we breed them because they're endangered in Denmark. So we even oh, wow. do like that. So it wasn't some random thing that we showed, but <laughs> we have them at our factory. And um, that's amazing. I love that the company really carries that through. You know, more than just the labels that they are very active in, yeah. in the community. That's very cool. Actually, when I first um, got to the factory. Um, we, we drive into the factory in Denmark and all you see is this glass box. And I'm like, where is the factory? Um, but the glass box is just where our CEO sits and then everything else is made below um, below grade. So oh, wow. we don't disturb the nature on top of um, mm -hmm. on top of it. Yeah, so that's how green we are. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a di definitely a different look to a factory than the ones I've seen for sure. Um, so I'm gonna share another video, Brittany. Um, okay. You could turn off the... Oh, yeah, I'll turn off the cameras. cameras. We always have to turn off our cameras. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, hopefully you can see my screen. And yep. last video about all about our, our sustainability and green story. There you go. Um, so if you have any questions, um, let me know. But um, I think I'm just going to move forward with um, kind of show, going over with you our, um, our our website, because I think it's the most important tool um, for you, especially when you're trying to specify us or if you're looking for ideas. So when you go to our website, um, Brittany, can you see this properly? Yes, I am seeing okay. it. You could maybe oh, yeah. zoom in just a little bit. Maybe one more on your um, on page. Yeah, that's perfect. That okay. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Um, so we, when you go into our website, talkcarpet.com, um, by the way, we only represent um, edge carpets. So um, just so you know, so, and then we don't <laughs> represent any other carpet manufacturers or any kind of um, product lines. Um, so when you go to talkcarpet.com, um, it will automatically show you if you want to go to our design zone, our inspiration zone, or um, if you just want to look at our products. So um, I think um, our inspiration zone is very important and very fun for you to know um, because uh, we have a lot of travel inspiration there, but most importantly, of course, we try to tie in everything that we do to our products. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on mood boards. Um, these are just a bunch of mood boards that we've worked on. I'm combining different materials from different manufacturers. And in our mood boards, everything that you'll see is actually our standard products. Um, and sometimes we just recolor them and there's so whatever you see here, there's no minimums. Um, we mm. don't we don't really feature in our mood boards, we don't feature any custom designs or anything like that. Well, that's so, a great to know because I've looked through those and thought they were really, really cool. And could you talk a little bit about though you mentioned the different colors um, for people who aren't familiar with how you guys do that. Could you share a little bit about some of that? Or maybe you're gonna get to it and I'm I'm jumping well, ahead. No, but... no worries. Yeah, um I, I will get to it, but basically um mm -hmm. How it works is that we have over 3,000 different designs, um, standard designs that you could use, and we could pretty much recolor any of them without any kind of minimums. Um, so you you can either pick colors from our palms, or we could you could even just send us like inspiration photos, and we'll try to get close to your ideas as much as possible. And that's how we normally um, work. 
Um, so it's very easy. So, and I know it gets pretty overwhelming um, because we, again, I mentioned that we have over 3000 different patterns and then we also have custom patterns. So if you have an idea, you actually, you can just contact me or contact someone, a member of our team, and we will um, curate a selection for you um, so that you're not stuck on our website for hours at a time because there, <laughs> there is a lot to look at and there's so many technical aspects to it as well. Um, so this page is still a part of our inspiration zone. Um, so it's just some custom design carpet ideas that we have and it's not anything that we've used before and it, honestly it's just a bunch of random design mm -hmm. that we think is cool or that we think is pretty. Um, but yeah, so but it's a great again, um, you know, if you're a little bit stuck or you just want to look at something pretty, mm -hmm. um, I would really um, encourage you to to look here because something could really um, spark in your head because we have hundreds of them, of course. Um, yeah, and that's in our inspiration blog, so our inspiration zone. Um, we also have, but I think the most important thing here is we every month we have a magazine. Um, that we send out to everyone. You might actually be um, receiving these already via email. Um, everything is digital. So our latest one uh, is all about Armenia. So our creative director visit went visits a, a country every month, and um, we try to incorporate whatever we learn from that country to some of our designs here. But I'm just going to quickly um, flip through. And then again, we incorporate some of the mood boards that we've already made. Um, and it's not just about us, it's about architecture that he saw, um, maybe some artisans that he met, some architects that he met as well. Um, so I think this is a good inspiration source for you to have as well, and not just about carpet, but about pretty much everything. Um, and we also, of course, feature our own projects. I actually worked on this, um, the mm -hmm. W Scottsdale in Arizona. Beautiful. I've been there. <laughs> oh, have you? Yes. <laughs> well, it's, it's, um, it's nicer now. <laughs> uh, so definitely look into this if you haven't, um, uh, if you don't receive it, um, let us know and we'll put you in our uh, list for, so to make sure that you, you get it. So this is just an extra thing. Um, but now we could, of course, talk about the products. Um, and Brittany, just feel free to interrupt me if yeah. I'm running out of time. Um, but you know, if you're a little bit overwhelmed or you don't really know how to navigate our products, this is a good tool to have. So you could even say, you know, help me pick. Um, so when you click on that, it will ask you a series of questions like, are you looking for tiles, broadloom, or rugs? Um, so let's just say broadloom. Um, we're looking for broadloom. And then it will ask you, like, which construction um, do you want for your broadloom? Because we also have just, like, these very minimal um, carpet. Like, they're almost just solid colors. Um, this is just to show you that we, we could... We have a lot of different looks. Not we don't just have the crazy patterns, but we also have these very minimal and you know uh, Scandinavian feeling as well. Um, depending on the kind of projects that you work on, um, and then we also have multi-level um, broad looms, and where a lot of the patterns is actually um, built into the texture like this. Mm. Um, and I really love this collection called the Reform um, Wave, and these are just oh, some. Wow. And this is standard again, um, and we give we do give you a, a little bit of an idea of pricing. So we are quantity driven. So this is just based on one thousand two hundred fifty square yard. That's not the minimum. Uh, okay. It's just it's just <laughs> seems to be the, the medium size project um, or the average size project that we work on. Um, so we wanted to put that out there. But of course, if you're working on something specific, just let us know so that we could give you very specific um, pricing as well. Um, and then um, another thing I wanted to show you is this uh, Reform Memory Broadloom. It's just very nice and textural. The pattern is a little bit um, pixelated and digital, but okay. the um, the texture kind of mimics worn velvet. So you kind of get the old and the new at the same time, which is kind of nice. Um, so again, we have the more minimal um, look, but we also have the crazy graphic patterns as well so yeah i think we have some samples of the, some of the some of both at at source and they're really really beautiful and oh, some good. Patterns are yeah i love the vibrant colors and it's great definitely exactly. we try to be a little bit more um different when we try to um, pick colors just because there's so many carpet manufacturers here in america um mm -hmm. that we wouldn't really want to show you things that you you could get anywhere 
Um, so, yeah, so these are just some of the collection, problem collections that we have that we could even make into area rugs. So I'm just going to click on my one of my favorite ones, which is the one I mostly worked on <laughs> called Arts and Crafts. So Arts and Crafts is like beautiful. pretty, is um, a little bit more artisan, I think, and kind of mimics different textures. Um, so these are um, examples of area rugs as well. So that's how we bind it. It's just um, an overlock binding. It's very minimal and very... Um, sophisticated so and we have literally hundreds and hundreds of different designs and that we could even recolor let me see if i could see if i could pick one and show you if yes so like we even have a recoloring tool oh cool um it is a little bit hard to, to use this when you don't have the actual color palette in front of you but if you <laughs> want to try to get an idea it's just um this is how it works so you click on the recoloring tool and you click on whatever design that you want to recolor um and then you click on whatever color you want to change so let's say you want to change this to i'll just do something obvious so you see the difference <laughs> um, it is a little bit slow because there's a lot of different <laughs> a lot of things in there i don't even know if it's gonna load while i'm presenting to you but um this is kind of how it works um that's really cool. And is that something that you guys can also help out on? So if I maybe wanted to just work work with somebody on your team to pick these accents or get recommendations, mm -hmm. is that something that you can help with? Absolutely. You know, um, so there you go. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if that's the look anyone is looking for. Yeah. Moment, but but we so saw what changed. That's very cool. <laughs> Yeah, so what you can do is you could even just um, give me a range of colors um, that you want me to play around with, or you could try and recoloring it on your own, um, feel free. And what's great about this is that um, you could even make it, put it into different um, 3D renders. Um, so you could put it in a conference room, this is what you're working on, and then you could download um, the images. So it's a very helpful tool, um, but it is a lot because there's a lot of colors you can choose from and there's so many different possibilities. So sometimes it is um, easier to just contact me and we'll do it for you um, just because we know we know the system well and we could literally make 20 recolors in 10 minutes for you. So um, just talk to me or, unless you want to have fun and just you know, <laughs> explore. I love that. Um, we're getting close on time, but I do have a question in terms of can you talk a little bit about um, your your lead time and what's the difference between um, if I'm doing like a custom design versus one of the um, designs that you guys already have? Could you share a little bit more? about that with us yes, of course so our typical lead times is um eight to seven to nine weeks um so okay. that includes production um and shipping as well to the final destination so um so production really is just three to four weeks everything else is just shipping from denmark so we say um seven to nine weeks total um so in terms of um if it's a custom design the production time is still the same however we just have to account for um the the design time so it, it, for example if it's a custom design and you know you wanted this pattern for example it will take us about three to five business days to have an actual render in front of you just like this okay um and then if you're like okay let i approve that render i like what i see in it digitally then the strike off will take about um five business days to have an actual sample in front of you okay. um and then once you approve that sample and we put it in production, it's the standard eight to uh, seven to nine weeks lead time. So we just, in terms of custom, we just have to account for um, the custom um, design process, but okay. you don't have to worry about the production. The production will, and the shipping will stay the same. Yeah. Perfect. That's great. Designers, do we have any other questions? Well, while we wrap up here, I'm very, very excited. And um, we're excited to have um, have you all on source. So that's an, another resource for you if you need to get um, connected to Charles or um, want to come and look at some of these. I know we've got them in stock both in Seattle and in Portland. So we'd love to show you those or help answer any other questions that you have. Don't see anything yet. But I, I, I'm always inspired and I actually just discovered your magazine. So I will be subscribing to that because that was something I had not seen before and I really love it. And I, I think you guys are um, definitely doing a lot of great things that we, we haven't really seen in the carpet world. So I'm, I'm excited to share that today. 
Um, doesn't look like we have any other questions. So I think we will wrap up and we'll be back again next week for another snack break. Again, we'll send links to the video. And um, when this closes out, you'll be redirected so you can um, take a look at talk carpet. Oh, perfect. Kelly. Yeah, we'll follow up with you and um, get that information. Or if you want to chat in your email, uh -huh. um, that would be great. We'll get you set up. But I hope everybody else has a great rest of your afternoon and we'll hang on. Kelly gets you that email. Um, and, but everybody else have a great rest of your day and thanks for snacking with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, Brittany. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Kelly, I'll follow up um, after this presentation with the contact and information for you. <laughs> Bye everyone. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>